Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I got a site for one night. Uh, but surprisingly, when I was making the reservation a couple of weeks ago, this was the first night it was available. Space number, go from there. All right, this park's a little different checking in than any other park I've been to. Um, you go into this, uh, this room and you pick a number and then you wait in this lobby area until your number's called. Kind of reminded me of being at the DMV. <laughs> Everything went fine, I'm just not used to that type of a check-in process. So, but I, I've heard that they are extremely busy on weekends and holidays throughout the year. So, I could see where that would be necessary, um, just so the rangers could keep their sanity. <laughs> it's not being mobbed by people. So, I am going to be in the river crossing RV area. It has water and power hookups. Again, I've never been here, so it's just uh, kind of trying to figure it out as I go. Apparently, I'm going to come up on a stop sign and make a right. They do lock the gates here. They said at 10 o'clock at night, they lock the gates, but they give you a code so you can get back in if you, if you leave. Space 142. That looks like I got the rush hour traffic area here. Whenever I see these shelters, like uh, over here to the left, these screen in shelters, that tells me there's a lot of bugs in the area. <laughs> but it's um, been getting pretty cold at night, so hopefully that scare off the mosquitoes. Let's see, she suggested going uh, to the right. I don't know what this guy's doing here. Thirty-nine. 
right, this is uh, the River Crossing Camp Area at Garner State Park. It is Wednesday morning, day before Thanksgiving, and I'm heading out. I'm going to go explore the rest of the park, but uh, I wanted to show you what the park looked like this morning. Some fall colors, but not what I was hoping for. Saw a lot more on the drive out here, which was just fine with me. It was beautiful. This is something really cool. The site next to me, apparently they killed their battery last night, tent camping. And the uh, park ranger came over and gave him a jump start. Nice cool morning, uh, according to my van. It's 48 degrees. Feels a little warmer than that. I would have guessed mid 50s, but it is cool. That's a cute little setup, four-door Jeep and that larger teardrop trailer. Now the exit is to the right. I'm going to go check and see what's to the left because I haven't been through that area yet. There's another campground over there. Don't know the name of it offhand without looking at the map.
okay here's where the dam is all right I've seen photos of the dam so uh, when I've seen photos and video of this park it's from this area right here I'm getting some fall colors here I, if I can find a place to park my truck and trailer or my van and trailer oh there's a big uh, goose out there I want to get out and take some photos I got to find a spot to park though very pretty camera a little bit shoot all these no parking signs dang it oh looks like you can rent paddle boats neat this is awesome I've definitely got to come back here in the summertime you know what there's like just one truck here in this huge parking area, so I'm gonna go to the end and hog some spots here. Just get out and take a few photos. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely gotta get out and take some photos. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, the scenic overlook wasn't all that. Um, you can see a little bit of the river. Had a lot better scenic views beyond that one, but check it out if you like. <clears throat> okay, I think the area we're coming into now is, is considered New Gardener. And this is where I stayed last night to the right. Cute little dachshund. This was really cool over here. Got no problem with where I stayed at all. But I think next time I'm gonna stay in the old gardener area. <clears throat> so this is a shower house to the left here. If you don't want to use your camper shower or if you're tent camping, that's a real handy thing to have right next to the campground. I've seen uh, out here has been squirrels. Might be a little too cold for the other critters to be out. Oh, I need to use that dump station, so I gotta stop and go back. Alright, this is um, the pavilion gift shop and dance area. So there's a big dance hall there. Oh, there's people out there dancing right now. How sweet. <clears throat> this is so cool. I can't believe I've never been here before. So here's the sh sh here's the gardener grill. So it's a uh, food trailer. Beautiful airstream. Oh. Yeah, I would definitely um stay in this area when I come out again. <clears throat> oh, they have a little uh, putt-putt golf over here to the left. How fun. I believe there's cypress trees in the water. <clears throat> Definitely have color on them. It's helpful to have the, um, the subdued light right now with the, uh, the cold subdued light makes the colors pop a little bit better for photos. Alright, so now I'm going out towards the exit. And I believe this is considered Old Gardener. Not sure. Um, I'll have to get back to you on that. And where I stayed last night, um, I think it's considered New Gardener. Gardener. <clears throat> Keep adding a D to the name. <laughs> I can see why this place is so popular. <clears throat> Everyone I've encountered has just been really friendly here. 
entrance, when I was checking in, the woman that checked me in, the ranger that checked me in, said that <clears throat> after hours, if there's any problems, to call um, call a particular number. And she said there are three state park uh, police officers, not state park, there are three um, state police officers that live in the park and you can call them if you have any problems. So that's pretty awesome. All right, well, I'm going to get some photos at the scenic overlook and uh, get back to you. State Park, Hill Country, Texas, Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Got a campsite for the night. Just wanted to share this view with you. Absolutely gorgeous. This water is crystal clear. You can see the rocks below. It's a beautiful day. My campsite's right up there on the hill. You can see and hear the river from my my camper. Got little Toby with me. Toby. <laughs> he doesn't want to stand still. He wants to go for a hike, so I'm gonna have to take him here in a minute. number 142 at River Crossing Campground, Gardner State Park in Texas. My combined length with the van and the casita and what's on the back of the casita is about 40 feet. And it fits fine, uh, backed in. I have about five feet to spare if I wanted to go back further. So it's kind of close to the site to its um, to the right if you're looking straight at it, but to the left, got quite a bit of room here. Comes with the lantern holder, the picnic bench, and the fire pit. Best part of it, you can probably hear the river. There's the Frio River. Oh, sound like a gunshot. So this is kind of uh, cool about this site in particular. It's got a little social trail that hooks up with a, an established trail. It's not a, it's not very worn in, but <laughs> this the established trail is about as um, identifiable as this social trail. And it goes along the river. But this is right the back side of my campsite tonight, or last night. This would be perfect in the summertime. Well, anytime, but in the summertime if you wanted to play in the water. It's right there. You go all the way down to the water from this little trail here. Here's another view of the actual campsite. So this is all the site for um, 142. The only problem with this site, and it might not be a problem for everyone, but I don't particularly like people walking through my site, and because this social trail has been established, a lot of people, um, when they come across this and they see this little social trail going uphill, they assume it's part of the trail and they come up and through the campsite no big deal but um if you're sitting here by the fire you might not want to have 
a bunch of strangers walking through your campsite or maybe you do so just keep that in mind if you get this site all right beautiful park my first time here definitely a thumbs up good morning from Gardner State Park Texas beautiful morning day before Thanksgiving surprisingly the park still has a most of the sites are full still absolutely gorgeous Have a great day, everyone.